welcome back to Onstage at ACT's new series, The Corona Diaries, where we catch up with the production staff and directors of the upcoming season here at ACT Studio Theater. But we're going to flip spots because I'm going to be in the hot seat. I will take the role of interviewer today, and yes. Stuart is in the hot seat as the director in question. So, Stuart, um, we're going to talk to you about your role as director of Orphans, uh -huh. but uh, we really haven't touched on your past year and a half, so I'd like to start there. How has, um, how has your life been affected by Corona? What have you been doing last year? year and a half? Well, um, a year and a half ago, we were prepping the season and things were going along smoothly and I was getting ready to do um, Buyer and Seller, the show I'll be doing in April of this year, uh, next coming year. For the beginning part of the, of the pandemic, um, I was able to devote to memorizing that script. So I spent about a year and a half of kind of reevaluating my priorities and I Definitely, my first priority was taking care of my health. So I took advantage of the home gym I had installed and went on a, a good, healthy, clean diet and um, took off 23 pounds, put 17 of it back on the gym. And so I, I definitely worked on reshaping myself and then making sure that this body is going to last as long as possible. Um, I will throw in an observation that uh, the work you've done on yourself physically has been outstanding and you, you look super healthy and uh, very buff. <laughs> now, we've seen a couple of photos of Stuart, one or two online. Um, so what one thing about the play Orphans appeals to you most as something to present to an audience to entertain them? I love a sense of connectivity or in a broader spectrum, um, a sense of a created family. Um, this snapshot of these three people for this time, um, they have a connection. Um, they have something that bonds them. And no matter what your gender or your economic background or your geographic background, I'm hoping that people will be able to identify with how the two brothers interact with each other, how they interact with the, the Harold, the third guy who comes in. Um, they're not a family, they don't really create a family, but in an essence, they are what each of them needs at that point. In creating this family, this, this theatrical team, um, in terms of casting, what's going through your mind? I will go to auditions myself, or I'll be casting and I'll have in my mind how some character should say this because I've known read the script you know 17 times and then someone will get up and I go wow I never thought of it that way and that fresh perspective excites me it, it gives me an idea that someone else has really put in the work has really seen it a different way I also look at giving people the opportunity to be seen a different way in the shows that I've directed here, I've given more than one person the chance to be a lead that weren't before. I see something in them that sparks, and it gives me the opportunity, much like you do, to mentor this this new talent. It's going to be a great show. It's it's funny, it's emotional, it's got some some tense drama. Um, it's one of those things where you say is it, it it's like when they talk, you know, it's, it, I laughed, I cried, it was better than cats, kind of that, kind of that <laughs> thing. So it does. It's not a well-known show, but I hope at yeah. least, I was going to say, but I hope at least within our circle here, it will become one. Well, thank you very much. I wish you a lot of luck in casting. And I, so, I hope so, too. <laughs> and uh, that'll wrap it for today yeah. for, um, for our uh, Corona Diaries. 
And we'll be back again with other directors and other shows. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at the theater. We'll catch you later. Bye, guys.